In the old times, uh, diseases were uh, decided as a single uh, entity. Nowadays, we know that uh, asthma, chronic rhinosinusitis, allergic rhinitis, atopic dermatitis are consisting many different subgroups. And these subgroups can be defined into groups of uh, phenotypes or endotypes. A phenotype is a visible characteristics of a disease. An endotype, on the other hand, is molecular mechanisms that define the pathophysiology of disease. So if we give an example, a phenotype of an asthma is, for example, early onset asthma with uh, eosinophilia. And an endotype of asthma is a certain molecule like IL-13 and IL-13 high asthma is an endotype. We need to do a lot of biomarkers research. So an endotype is defined by biomarkers. Biomarkers should be easily accessible uh, body fluids from blood, from sputum, from nasal secretions, and they should be uh, detected at the point of care with a quick detection system. And when we have these biomarkers, then it will be easy to endotype the patients. An endotyping approach uh, will be very good for the patient because in every study we see a very good responder group, a weak responder group or a non-responder group. So we will be able to select the good responder group to the treatment. So phenotyping and endotyping is the essentials of uh, personalized medicine. And we have biomarkers on the other hand and we have also uh, biologicals. So this, uh, these three make a triangle. And on one side we see phenotypes and endotypes. When we endotype the patient appropriately uh, with the appropriate biomarker, then we will be able to give the appropriate treatment to this patient.